Willie. Willie Casey, thanks for talking to us, Willie. Just fresh off it, we in just back in from after beating Jason Boot. Do you want to just talk us through how the fight went? Yeah, it was an excellent fight. Like you know, from from round one, like you know, there was a high intensity pace the whole way through. I think he started slowing off there, maybe around the seventh and the eighth round. But uh, regardless of him slowing down, he still kept it coming. Like you know, and he he st he wanted it, and he he showed that he wanted it bad as well. Like you know, and he done very well now. Like you know, and it was a great fight. Like you know, and it was a very high intensity pace and. As I said, you know, I, I think you know, I had a great guard against him, like you know, and I was catching out of his shots and the gloves and stuff. And I, and I think I, you know, I, I, I done very well to, to win it, like you know, over 12 rounds. Did you think at, at any stage uh, were you looking to stop him? Was or at any stage? I know the ninth round he looked may, to be. Maybe I kind of got a little bit tense there, maybe around the seventh or the eighth, in between the seventh and the ninth round, like you know, I, I thought he was going to kind of trying to kind of load up a little bit, like you know, and but um, as I said, he, he he's um. He was good and he was on his toes and he was bouncing tonight, like, you know, and he done very well to get out of trouble when he did, like, you know. Um, you, you've had a tough time of it lately, kind of not, not getting fights, fights being cancelled. You, you went over and boxed the featherweight and got beaten in, in Denmark. You know, you're back, you're back in it now. You, you win over Jason Bill. Yeah. Kind of put you back in there. Uh, exactly, like, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, no, and all, all praise to Jason Bill as well because I think that was the best condition he was ever been in. I think that's the best I've ever seen him fight in his whole career. I think... Uh, he done very well, like you know, to be there, like you know, and as I said he he had a lot of time to train for this fight, like you know, he really wanted it, like you know, and he showed in there tonight, as I said, that, that he wanted it, like you know, and, and he put up a good fight, like you know, and he, even though like I mean, he was throwing good shots himself, but I, I think like with my my guard and I was catching out of his shots and gloves, and it was it was a good a great scrap and another good twelve round under my belt again. Did he hurt you on any stage? Did... Um, I, I don't know. There was. He did. He did catch me with a couple of hooks over the top and stuff like you know. Um, I don't think he ever stunned me or, or wobbled me or anything. But there was a sting in the shot. All right, like you know, he 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 looked he looked in good nick tonight. We've been chatting to your your, your coach Paul there and kind of talking about the style changes and and where do you feel you're at now? Yeah, well, I, I think like you know, I'm getting there. Like you know, I mean, I I think there's still things that I'm being being taught that I'm not doing in the ring, like when I'm in the ring, like, you know what I mean? There, there's things I'm still supposed to be doing that I'm still not doing. And I, I, I think, like, you know, another good training camp you now under my belt, like, you know, and um, we, we'll get our next one again, like, you know, we'll, we'll eventually get it right, like, you know, for the bigger fights again. So where, where from here now, Willie? You? you know, there's, I, again, I spoke to your coach about it, the Scott Quay, Kid Galahad, Kiko Martinez, Carfrant, and, you know, you see yourself within them, surely. What can I say? Look, if they, they, they want to fight me, they, I don't know. They, they, they seem they don't want to fight me, like, you know what I mean? They're not, they're not saying they don't want to fight me, but they're, they're not asking for me neither, like, you know, and listen, you know, if any one of them out there who says that I'm not in the radar or whatever they want to say, like, you know what I mean? You know, they're talking shit, like, you know, to be honest, like, you know what I mean? Because I'm up there with any one of the throw them, like, you know, and I think I can hold my bone with any one of them up there. Right, Stu, Kid, Kid Galahad had been talked about. There was, a lot, there was a lot of interest over that. It was to happen, it didn't happen. You know, would that be an interesting one now, considering Looks, both his box, Jason Booth, went to distance with him? It went to distance, yeah, but uh, don't, 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 uh, don't, you can't compare the, the, how, the condition that Jason was in, like, with me, and how, what condition he was in with, with Kid Galahad, because, I mean, he had nine weeks to train for my fight, like, you know, and nine, ten weeks for my fight, and I think he only took something like ten days notice for Kid Galahad's fight, like, you know, and, as I said, I was I was supposed to fight Gallagher in that fight, like I mean, you know, but they have to change in the last few weeks of a fight again, like you know, they are talking up big fights out there. There's a few out there are talking up big fights, and just at the last minute, then they're, they're changing their opponent, like you know, what I mean, and look, there's nothing I can do about it. If they if they don't want to fight, they don't want to fight. But I'm here. I fight anyone at the top, in it. Uh, final question. I was looking at some of your uh, online Facebook page and Twitter and that during the week, and there's a, a lot of a huge amount of fans kind of. Talking about when you're going back to fight in Dublin or Limerick, and is that something that could possibly happen? Th that's something that definitely could happen. Like you know, it's something that I definitely want to happen. I think I think it's time for me to go home now. Like you know, I've I've four or five fights you now on the road, and uh, I, I I'd love to get back to Dublin. And Dublin, uh, there was great nights back in Dublin with uh, Emilio Salvini, uh, Regan Do, you know, and. There was uh, other fights there that I got, like, you know, and I'd love to get back down, down to the south now, like, you know, and it, it, it can happen, it can happen maybe sooner rather than later as well, like, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm going to just have to sit down and talk to my promoters now, Emil Promotions, and uh, hopefully, like, you know, my, my coaches, the McCullers and Andy as well, and 
hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something for maybe September or October again. And just last question, will, will he, does it affect you? I mean, I, I remember in Limerick in your box, Pauli yeah, Highlands, Salvini and City West, and the place was hopping. Does it affect you coming? I mean, you were here today, there was a good crowd, but they, they, you know, a lot yeah, of them weren't uh, here to see you. Does that affect you? Does it affect your performance? I, I kind of... I, I, I kind of miss it to be honest. I, I miss I miss the big crowd. I miss I miss that home support and you know I mean you know that ring and off like you know kind of everyone kind of you know we, everyone's hopes are up like you know and they were all kind of shattered and but in but in the space of two minutes like you know and hopefully now like after tonight like you know we, we kind of connect back get that connection back again like you know and as I said hopefully get back to Dublin or somewhere down around the south again sometime soon. Okay. Really look well done and thanks for having us. Oh, well, thanks very much, Stephen.